friggin' Dylan, instead of pine cone, you said butter toast. Now we gotta restart. <laughs> <laughs> the recording's ruined. Alright, back to artisans. <laughs> anyway, hey everybody, welcome to Spiro the Space Moose. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, in Ratchet and Clank on PS4, there's a reference to Spyro uh, called Spiro the Space Moose. Wonder what it means. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Magic Crafter. Introduction of the Warlocks. Yay. Mm. Magic Crafter is, uh, this is my favorite hub role in the game, and has my favorite set of levels. I want you to release the dragon. I wish I could roll my R's like that. And recover the eggs from those pesky How do people roll R's? I can't do it. I guess also, it's a skill, right? It, but... oh, I missed one. There, he's dead now. If you get all of those in a single charge, uh, you get an achievement. I already have it though, so whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, Trophy, because it's PlayStation. Because they, they want to be unique. Right. But everybody knows. And then Nintendo just doesn't bother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because of that, there are some things that exist in this game specifically for achievements, and they just don't do anything in the Switch version. <laughs> just kind of there. Yeah, like, uh, a few levels have burnable objects, and, yeah, they exist only for an achievement, and there's no achievements in Switch. And he's dead. <laughs> Another egg. 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 I mean, there are times I wish sometimes Nintendo would do achievements, but at the same time, though, like, some of their games, like, what would they put achievements? <laughs> Get all 900 Korok seeds. <laughs> oh my god, dude, no. Yes. I'm a, I'm a big Breath of the Wild fan, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> I don't know why anyone has done that ever. Find every area <laughs> in the game. <laughs> every single lake, every town. I think you, can, I think you should search for enough Korok seeds to decently upgrade your inventory. But after that... <laughs> yeah. But, don't you want the Golden Turd? <laughs> No. Okay, so I decided to keep my supercharge going, and I ended up accidentally going into a level. Oh, that was the dumb mistake you made that you mentioned earlier. I decided to just go with it and just play through the level anyway. Yeah. Okay, Wizard's Wizard's Peak. Uh, interesting fact about this level's music. This game's soundtrack was composed by Stuart Copeland, and he also made some of the music for The Amanda Show, a sketch show on Nickelodeon in, in the early 2000s. And he reused... The, this level's theme for the credits theme in the Amanda show. <laughs> really weird, but yeah, if you listen to the credits theme in the Amanda show, it is just Wizard's Peak. It's actually pretty funny. So yeah, this is an Amanda show song. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can't call it copyright infringement. It is his song. <laughs> it makes me wonder who owns the song then. Like, you'd think it'd be... I guess at this point Activision, but mm -hmm. or a, or Viacom with the Amanda Show. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the how does the le legal stuff work with that? Usually, like, uh, when you make music like that, you're making it for the company. Yeah, I know that, but yeah. like, they like does the that mean? To... Yeah, does that mean uh, Nickelodeon or I guess Viacom had to ask at the time Universal Interactive permission to use the song? <laughs> I mean, maybe legally, yes, but like, for all we know, they just used it without them knowing. Okay, so that jump I made right there, um, in the original PS1 game, you can see that ledge perfectly fine, but in the PS4, or I guess reignited, you can't, and that's annoying. So good luck finding that your first playthrough if you're playing reignited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that dragon can wait. <laughs> Yeah, I like how you went up there and you're like, eh, I'll go find the gems first. <laughs> Save me, Spyro. Can't. Treasure. Can't treasure. Can I get all the gems back? That's more important. I haven't even brought up how Sparks works. Um, if you have him around, he'll pick up gems nearby, and if you take a hit, he'll change a different color. It goes uh, yellow, blue, green, and then he's gone after that. And fun fact, if, you, if you're playing like this on PS4, the controller light actually changes color depending on what stage Sparks is on. Hmm. So, there's one advantage to playing it on PS4 over any other platform. 
That's if a, you care. That's a cool detail, but it's a detail I'll probably never use if I were to play it on PS4. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate it, but yeah, like, it's no reason to get it on PS4 over, like, PC. Yeah. By the way, if you do have a powerful enough PC, play, please play this on PC instead. Um, it is a much better experience, the load times are way faster, 60 FPS, mods. Yeah. Though, the the higher frame rate actually does cause for cause some glitches. Well, like the animations of the Norks can screw up in Artisans and they'll just slide around. The Spyro's jump is wizards. slightly shorter in 60 FPS. Like, n not short enough to really notice in normal gameplay, but there's a certain uh, charge, glide, not charge, uh, glide thing you can do in Spyro 2 and 3. That just doesn't work in 60 FPS. Um, That's weird. I mean, it's like a, a speed running technique, so it's not like you need it, but still. Oh, and uh, in Alpine Ridge, sometimes there's this door that just won't open up if you're playing at 60 FPS. That happened to me, and that was annoying. But, so, like, I don't know what's up with this, this stuff, but aside from that, like, 60 FPS is fine. Minor stuff, right? And it's so weird because the PC well, port is otherwise really good. Like, I was able to get some pretty good graphics out of this game on my PC. My crappy computer that cost me like $200. Like, like it's so super well optimized, but they screwed up the frame rate. <laughs> I'm hearing the melody right now to see Amanda show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hearing Amanda, 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 I mean, I Amanda, Amanda, show. That afterwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link. Say, now, you, now you gotta, yeah. now you gotta listen to it. Um, <laughs> I, I would have a little snippet in the video itself, I'm worried Viacom is gonna be Viacom, so yeah. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> don't worry about it. I was about to say, don't do that. I'll take your word on that. I'll, I'll send you guys a link, okay. um, after this recording. I mean, you probably could play a snippet, you... It just had to be like a two second. Yeah, but like Viacom. Yeah. They, they yeah. don't know. <laughs> they don't know what fair use is. I'm honestly surprised my SpongeBob videos aren't coined by them. <laughs> Knocking on wood. I mean, they I say don't call it too soon. They might still do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, like uh, my Revenge of the Flying Dutchman video is not far from being a year old at this point. It was my first video of 2019, and 2019's almost over. I can't believe it. Decades almost over. Yeah. I... It's weird to think about. <laughs> I I don't even remember 2009 at this point. Because that was basically a fetus. I just remember seeing all those memes this year about I'm still trying to process 2016. Yeah. Like Honestly, yeah, that was a... That was a year. <laughs> That was a 2016, year. 2016, I mostly just remember waiting impatiently for Breath of the Wild to come out. <laughs> well, when I think of 2016, I think of... You know... Listen carefully, the horror. There's a secret area the horror. The so Wii U drought? What do you mean? Oh, the Wii U drought. No, I was referring to pre the... The Trump versus That's Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. And, oh. Well, yeah. I, I oh don't yeah, want... bring in politics. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm giving my opinion on it. It's not like, oh yeah, I really love that insert candidate here. No. <laughs> uh, insert here's candidate can here. Here's our campaign link. Like, go support them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's done. Mm -hmm. Yay. Have you ever... I was, gonna say your... go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, your video can actually get taken down if you push your political views like that. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I, I mean, if, if you're that happening to somebody, anyway. I mean, if your political <laughs> opinions are like, man, those, I'm not gonna think. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't I know where you're going with that. Don't, don't finish yeah. that. <laughs> don't finish <laughs> that. All right, all right. If if your political opinion is hateful, then like, yeah, because that would be classified as hate speech, mm. and that's not allowed okay, on, yeah, on YouTube. That's... But that's not. That's different than like. Supporting a presidential candidate, even like one people don't like. Anyway, <laughs> what's this guy doing? <laughs> Having fun. And I killed him. <laughs> you monster. So I'm finally 100%ing this hub world now. It's, I'm not gonna supercharge into a portal again, I promise.
<laughs> you know, I, I, what I really like about this game is that at 100% it, you have to make Spyro a mass murderer by literally killing every enemy you see. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. You know what? Yeah. Spyro promotes <laughs> genocide. <laughs> I like the silence. To a special place yeah. where you can learn to fly. It's just every time a pit scene comes up, I don't know. He overheights that level so much. You can learn how to fly here. Oh, does that mean I can just like fly wherever after I finish that? No. No. no only temporary. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, I remember before this game was coming out, like the, before this game was out, there was a person in the YouTube comments. It was one person who would go out of their way to find every single Spyro video on the internet to talk about his need for free flight in Spyro, ignoring the fact that it would completely break the game. <laughs> like, that was, like, actually a really big thing every Spyro content creator was actually really annoyed with, because every video they uploaded... Wow. Yeah, that was fun. At first yeah. I thought it was a bunch of people wanting free flight, I realized, oh no, it's literally one person. <laughs> But it's like if you gave Mario the wing cap for every single level, and it was like unlimited yeah, use. Yeah, this is a platformer. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a spiral game built around Free Flight. I, I think that could work, but it has to be designed around it. This obviously isn't. Right. Not like that. I feel like that would have to be more of like a, a Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie type game. If they added Free Flight. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I, speaking of that, um, I think it's a safe assumption to say we're gonna get finally get a new Spyro game at some point, and I think a good way of handling a new Spyro game would be have more open level design, because like the original trilogies are level design is a lot more linear than you would see in Banjo Kazooie. Mm -hmm. kind of just... you can actually have like actual flight challenges built into the level. I mean, technically mm -hmm. Spyro two and three do that. But it's much more limited. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, there's this... the flight gates that everywhere. Yeah. Like oh, you can light the lanterns, lanterns in a uh, glimmer. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fine challenge. It's just like, you know, you can do a lot more with uh, flight challenges than that. I love the dragon designs in Solo, by the way. Of course mm. not. Yeah, oh, good. I didn't think so. <laughs> though, though, uh, some people do love them a little too much. I, because I remember when this game first came out, not first, when they were first showing off the, the dragons, a lot of people were very horny for them. Especially the Bubba one. Yeah. I remember me. someone tweeted a picture of, uh, uh, a piece of artwork of Bubba. <laughs> That said, I want Baba to squish and squash me. Wow. <laughs> really when I saw it, it was like Baba and Chubba. Like, oh yeah. What if Baba had a Chubba? <laughs> oh, no. <my> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Children, at, shut your ears. I mean, at, at least they're not horny for Spyro. Okay, that's not true. I've seen some people horny for Spyro. That upsets me. <laughs> He's canonically 12. Stop it. I mean... The PC version of uh, Spyro 2 that one supporting character can make her have bigger boobs. Oh god, yeah, Laura. <laughs> so there's that. The Spyro <laughs> fan base is oddly horny. Segue out of that. <laughs> no, so let's talk about the horniness of the Spyro community. <laughs> like, it, it's so weird how horny they are because, like, they're, aside aside from like two kids in Spyro 2 and a, a dumb adult, mm -hmm. there's no humans in this entire series, and they're all like really cartoony and I don't know. Right. I mean like, whatever you do, you I guess, but I'm not, I'm still gonna judge you. I can just hear Jacob's indecision of wanting to be a part of this channel. Yeah, I'm now this second is, guessing my involvement with this playthrough. <laughs> this, this, this is a- that was a dragon that gave an audible groan in the original game. Ugh. Thank groan. you for releasing me. <laughs> Didn't ask to be released. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. Yeah. I didn't ask to be born. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's how many awkward pauses we've had. Like... <laughs> That's happening a lot. What if I said something- 
<laughs> One of us said something kind of somewhat uncomfortable, like how uh, we want Bubba to squish and squash us, and and then there's like two seconds of awkward silence. I mean, you could always just like split the audio and like merge it together so it doesn't happen, but I think it's funnier when it does happen. <laughs> So yeah. No one knows what to say. It's like, okay, well, that, well, that was, that was said. <laughs> it's like, I do not know how to move on from that. <laughs> uh, the solution is you don't. Let's talk more about Bubba's job. No, let's not talk about that. <laughs> we haven't even seen Bubba yet. I, I don't want to see him. him. I, I, I do not want to see him. <laughs> don't worry, he hides his chubba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was about to say, are you afraid that you're gonna see his chubba? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna see, but I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. We're, we're adults. Uh, <laughs> At least by definition. Say, by definition. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm 21. Uh, I can just imagine you like at a bar grabbing a drink, talking about that. <laughs> so, have you ever seen Bubba's chubba? <laughs> <laughs> the guy just like stares at me with a glare. Yeah, like <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm all too familiar with Bubba's chubba. <laughs> oh god! Now, now I'm afraid of the thumbnail. <laughs> I'll, I'll find a fan or a Bubba's trouble. <laughs> Is this level almost over? Can we move on? <laughs> I think um, he's almost there. Okay. Don't, don't, don't worry, we'll see Bubba. We'll see Bubba soon enough. He's in the next world. <laughs> Dylan seems excited for a Bubba. I know. He's excited. I'm petrified. <laughs> I just think it's funny with Jacob's reaction now. <laughs> just does not want any part of this no. anymore. Just like, no, nope, if I'm you don't dead. see me in the next video, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> We're now just DB. 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 DB and. You leave the and. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I think we made that exact same joke like three times We probably before. did, because we're original people. Originality is not our strength. We're not even original to ourselves. Why do you think I'm relying on Bubba's trouble for this commentary? I know, right? You gotta drive it somehow. Oh my god. <laughs> Bubba. I was about to say something really bad, and I'm gonna decide not to say it. Bubba's trouble is always there for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's not as bad as what I was gonna say, but alright, cool. You need to tell me. Uh. Later. 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 Okay. <laughs> I I'll expose your secrets to the world in the form of editing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you'd rather not. <laughs> okay, anyway, so are there five worlds or six level. worlds in this game? Didn't they say both at the beginning? Uh, yeah, because they they try high, they they try making Nasty's world a surprise at the end. So yes, there is six. Okay. So this this level is cool. Um, the, cra the Crash Team Racing got a spiral level and is partially um, based off of this level. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, there there's um like two. They have a base of artisans and magic crackers represented in the Crash Team Racing level, and uh, <coughs> two separate levels for each. Anyway, uh, Crash Team Racing is good. Uh, Jacob, you should get it. Yeah, Dylan I'll, finally has it. I'll have to get it sometime. Yeah. Uh, Dylan's got it, and he's making getting Wumpa coins much easier for me, because I I have like 250 hours in the game. Have you explained that story yeah, at all? Just the grind you've had to do for that stuff? Oh yeah, um, so Wumpa coins, I kind of hate them in Crash Team Racing. It takes way too long to get anything. I mean, if I have 250 hours in the game and still don't have everything, yeah, that's bad. Um. So, I, I found a- there's a glitch that you could do in a previous version of the game, um, where you can basically beat the level of Thunderstruck in, like, about 12 seconds, and you get 56 coins each time. So, you can easily get, like, over 100 coins within a minute. 
So I did that for like probably a combined total of like twenty hours across a month. Like you. I'll squash them all. I had over I had a hundred thousand coins in the pit stop cleared by the time I was done with it. But then the next Grand Prix happened, and then I only had like thirty thousand one coins after that, and then the next Grand Prix happened, and then I had nothing and it <laughs> so uh Yeah. And, that, and that's actually a faster method of getting Wumpa Coins compared to playing online, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah. I just remember us being on Discord calls and you just grinding for, like, the entire call. Yeah, I, I basically just had a bunch of Vine Sauce live streams going on in the background whenever I did that. So I wasn't bored, and I don't regret doing it, but... You know... Still. Yeah. Wouldn't have been, uh, it would've been nice if you didn't have to do that to begin with, you know? Yeah. Really? The Wumba the Coin grind is too strong in Nitro Field. It's like my only major complaint with the game. Other than that, I, I, I adore it. I think it's the best kart racer ever. I still just like the night they lied about not having microtransactions. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. It's, and it's I will definitely bring, I'll definitely bring that up whenever I cover the game in a review. Well, that's okay. They did it twice in a row, Activision did it with Call of Duty as well. There's no microtransactions in the game, and later on they added it. Don't you love? Like don't you love Activision? <laughs> it bothers me so much that two of my favorite series ever, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, are owned by them because they're like the crappiest publisher ever. Okay, yeah. I mean, apart EA from exists. EA, yeah, yeah, but like, if that's your only, like, the only company that's worse than them, that's yeah, that's a bad sign. That's not a good bar. I mean, I'll at least say that they're probably better than the original publishers of Crash and Spyro Universal Interactive. Because, um, all, every Crash and Sp Spyro game went through some major crunch, and after hours they weren't even willing to pay for air conditioning in wow. the summer in Los Angeles. Whoa, no, this is cool. Yeah, I would've walked up. With jumping nope. and gliding, and really explore yeah, publishers suck. I feel like that's almost like lawsuit level. You know what I mean? It might be, but that was also in the late nineties, so maybe yeah, you can get true. away with doing stuff like that. You're gonna sue your employer for not providing a suitable working condition. Yeah. I, I, I feel like that'd be a big lawsuit. Yeah. Man. I don't know. That's crazy though. But yeah, you can just like fall in this level and be fine. I was gonna say like what's What's going on? Uh, there's a dragon that tells you that, so it's not like one of those things you just have to find out on accident. Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of like in Mario Galaxy, if you fall off the com uh, the observatory, you just like turn into a For bubble and then pulls you back in. Freaking Rosalina. I know. Preventing my suicide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want to jump off the side. Stop <laughs> saving me. I'm so oh, tired. I like, get so tired. Poor Mario. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, Peach gets kidnapped way too frequently and doesn't get better guards. She continues to rely on these squishy mushroom dudes, <laughs> which are like two feet tall. I will smoke flat to marvelous. <laughs> yeah, poor Toad. <laughs> I tell you uh, what, this job gets pretty stressful from time to time. I, I, I mean, want like does it though? Like, are they even doing anything? <laughs> I want a throwaway line in the next Mario game saying Toad died of cancer. Wow. <laughs> died of mouth cancer. Mouth <laughs> cancer. Like this like, is a real thing. Well, I, I mean, usually it's like throat cancer. Like I don't know. Just, also, I I, cancer, I, yeah. I said that I said that because he's a smoker. So you yeah. but you went to that instead. I mean, you can still get mouth cancer from smoking. I know, but that's not the cancer people usually get. Yeah. Lung cancer, yes. I just thought I'd say something else besides the obvious. So, but, you know, no, no, We're going no, to we have to take be predictable. That oh, nice, nice rolling, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a salvatory roll. Stop, drop, and roll. A completely useless move. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in Spyro Two and Three now. That was that was in the original Spyro One, but they did not keep it in Two and Three. But Reignited added it in 2 and 3, so that's why this is the definitive version of the game. I'm the only one that misses, like, useless moves like that, like the breakdance kick in Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. 
There's no use for it at all. Or whatever, a Mario Sunshine just so pulling fun on the character. L button and doing that weird, like, sidewalk. Yeah. I, I like the, that uh, slide kick move you can do by uh, running, pressing Z, and then B. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's completely pointless, but it looks cool. Anyway, also, next flight level. Yeah. Also, Spyro is good. <laughs> I was just thinking too, um, cause you know how in Mario 64 you can do a lawn jump, and then after your lawn jump you can do like a walk kick? Like you can jump from wall yeah. to wall? Like, yeah. that's one thing I've gotten so used to, like it's I feel like it's almost a standard now. But I went back to Galaxy 2 and I was playing that, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, like you can't do that. Yeah, uh, 64 is the only game that has that. Yeah. So I intentionally... To be honest, I feel like Odyssey is probably the closest we'll ever get to having that level of freedom with the moveset. Like, they didn't even but... keep it in uh, 64 DS. Oh, really? Yeah. I remember uh, watching some Star World Let's... Uh, not Let's... Uh, Star World footage that uh, remake of... Star Road that Skellix is working on. Mm -hmm. He actually had to redesign some of the level design because uh, the, the final level, you know, the really hard one, requires you to wall jump out, out of a long jump. Yeah. Yeah, he had actually changed up some of the level design to accommodate the different controls. Oh. Voice crack, wow. Happening, <laughs> yo, Noid is happening now too. Cool. <laughs> yeah, only when I record too. Thank you. Yep. Never fails. <laughs> Thank you, uh, voice. <laughs> I can always count on you. Alright, uh, is it boss time? Or, yep. quote, quote, and, boss time? <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the greatest boss name you will ever see. Blowhard. Blowhard. Yeah. Yep. The greatest boss name ever. <laughs> Does it blow hard, though? Blow softly. Blow softly. Also, nice pop in there, PlayStation. Also, this stage is gorgeous. I love it so much. I wish I could see how good it looked. I guess later. <laughs> uh, if, if, yeah. you, if you decide to watch the final video, uh -huh. then you, you will then. Okay. Except, not entirely because I, I this recording is in 720p and the game runs in 1080. That's fine. But I didn't want I didn't want to upload that much uh, footage, 1080p footage. That sounds horrifying. Yeah. So yeah, 720. Yeah, going from the standard definition to HD is more than enough. That's a weird enemy. Anyway. Is this the boss? That's a yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why well, is it I sad that I'm able to pick up on this now? But <laughs> I'm like, oh. I was I was just about to say I find it hilarious to just call him an enemy. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I swear I'm standing still in here for a reason. Okay. Skill point. Um, I don't know why, but there's what? a skill point for... <laughs> don't oh, know. How would... <laughs> so much skill. The game, so tell the game tells you about it. But like... Yeah, but still. I know. <laughs> it's a dumb skill point, I know. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro! You it's have thank no you for releasing me. I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? <laughs> um... Yeah, see, he hates old people. <laughs> I can't even point this out, I don't really show it off very well, but all the dragons actually have unique exiting animations. Hmm. I, I don't show it because I, I play this game too fast. But yeah, they all, like, exit the area in their own unique way. That's cool. You see, you're, like, trying to, like, speed it in this, man. This is just how I play yeah, the I game. Yeah, I was gonna say, you play it yeah. so much, it's like... Play it. It's almost like it's one of my favorite games ever. I know, right? Yeah, this boss, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's not even much of a boss. Like I said, most of these are just chase yeah. sequences. Yeah, you chase them around for a bit, flame them, do it again like two more times, and they're dead. Yep, that's, boss is dead. That's it. And they won't. Wee! Anyway, wow. back to the hole, please. Uh, I like seeing that number go up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, guess what's in the next world? Uh, is it Bubba's channel? Yes. Oh <laughs> 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 man. Uh, you guys have to carry Bubba it. Bubba hype! No. Bubba's Bubba, Bubba hype! <laughs> <laughs>
No. Shut the hype. Shut the hype. Would you like to know? Oh, yeah. No. Let's go to Bubba. You're a little too excited for this, Brendan. <laughs> No, I, 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 swear I, for, I swear you know, it's for. I swear it's for. I swear it's for. the next world's called Beast Makers too. Does that make Chubba a beast? Yeah, he is or a total Bubba? beast. I mean, um, he's not just any beast, but a sexy beast. Sexy beast. Anyway, anyway. after making Jake, after making Jacob uncomfortable, I guess this video is over. Incredibly uncomfortable. I've <laughs> <laughs> yeah. already. No. <laughs> already gone. Oh, All right, okay. I, I guess he's leaving for this playthrough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, no more. Right. No more Th that's that's it for me. Sorry, guys. I mean, I want I want to show you this game I like, but I guess Baba's Chaba is too much. <laughs> I'll join afterwards. <laughs> Let me know when it's done. All right. All right. Yeah. With that, we'll we will catch see you guys you later. Next part. Yep. Looking. Same bad time. Same bad channel. Uh, <laughs> B.